The Archdiocese of Toronto and the National Catholic Broadcasting Council. Through the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, presents Sunday TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Sunday TV Mass on the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. I am Father Vijay Amirtaraj. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from a family who are parishioners of St. Clement Parish in Etobicoke, Ontario. This Mass is offered for the repose of the souls of Joachim de Sousa and for other deceased family members. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers gathered as God's children, we take a moment to pray for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Lamb of God who takes away sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life who came down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. If you choose, you can keep the commandments and they will save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live and to act faithfully is a matter of your own choice. The Lord has placed before you fire and water. Stretch out your hand for whichever you choose. Before each person are life and death, good and evil, and whichever one chooses, that shall be given. For great is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and sees everything. His eyes are on those who fear him, and he knows every human action. He has not commanded anyone to be wicked, and he has not given anyone permission to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his decrees, who seek him with their whole heart. Blessed 
Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, among the mature we do speak wisdom, though it is not a wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to perish. But we speak God's wisdom, secret and hidden, which God decreed before the ages for our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. As it is written, what no eye has seen nor ear heard, nor the human heart conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not think I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to those of the ancient times, you shall not murder and whoever murders shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that the one who is angry with their brother or sister will be liable to judgment, and whoever insults their brother or sister will be liable to the council, and whoever says, you fool, will be liable to the hell of fire. So. When you are offering your gift at the altar, if you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother or sister, and then come and offer your gift. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Again, you have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, you shall not swear falsely, but carry out the vows you have made to the Lord. But I say to you, do not swear at all. Let your word be yes, if yes, or no, if no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
a farmer and his wife went to a fair. The wife was fascinated by the airplanes, and she asked a pilot how much a ride would cost. 100 bucks for three minutes, replied the pilot. That's too much, said the wife. The pilot thought for a moment and then said, I will make you a deal. If you and your husband ride for three minutes without uttering a sound, the ride will be free. But if you make a sound, you have to pay $100. The wife agreed. She and her husband went for a wild ride. After they landed, the pilot said to the wife, I want to congratulate you, madam, for not making a sound. You are a brave woman. Maybe so, said the wife, but I got to tell you, I almost lost it when my husband fell out. <laughs> now I am sure that none of the married women at this mass will choose the hundred bucks over their husbands. However, the readings for today invite us to reflect on the choices that we make in our lives, the choices that we make in our relationship with God and with other human beings. Sisters and brothers, our human life is built on the choices we make. And in our first reading from the book of Sirach, the author reminds us that before each person are choices, life and death, good and evil. And whichever one chooses will be the one that will be given to the person. Of course, as disciples, our Lord Jesus wants us to choose life. But what does it really mean to choose life? In a statement, St. John Paul II spoke of this very point. He said, to choose life involves rejecting every form of violence the violence of poverty and hunger, the violence of armed conflict, the violence of mindless damage to the natural environment, the violence of treating other human beings with disrespect. In short, to choose life is to choose love. In our gospel today, Jesus tells us that the choices that we make in our life should all be responses to God who speaks in the depths of our hearts. The God in whose image and likeness we each of us have been created and made. So the obvious question for us is, if we are created in the image and likeness of God, and if we are called to be imitators of God in choosing life and love, how are we doing as human beings in our relationships, in our families, and in our communities? Are our homes and our families our places of love, our places of forgiveness, our places of healing. Each day, God invites us to choose life. Each day, God invites us to choose love. We can either listen and respond to that invitation that comes from God, or we can simply ignore it and be carried away by the values of our secular society. The choice ultimately is ours. 
But it is my prayer today for all of us that our hearts may always be open to the Spirit of God, to hear the voice of God, and to choose life and love always. Amen. And now let us uh, together profess our faith in God. I believe in God, the Father oh, Almighty, Lord. creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Sisters and brothers, now with faith, we offer our prayers to God. And we pray for all those in the daily TV Mass community who have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book, especially those asking for peace in their family. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and for all of us participating in this Mass, that we may choose life, we may choose love, and we may always choose good. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Loving God, hear these prayers and those in our hearts and answer them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all of the church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always, and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the people you have gathered. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof. For all is the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.